your Polestar FCU is firing at full auto, even when your selector is in semi, you're going to want to check this out. The Polestar FCU detects semi versus full auto when the selector plate trips a micro switch on the back of the trigger board. When the micro switch is disengaged, the Polestar FCU will fire in semi. When the micro switch is engaged, the Polestar FCU will fire in full auto or whatever alternative fire mode you have, which might also be semi. Before making this fix, I'd have to run my rifle with the full auto FCU mode setting as semi because both the semi and full auto settings on the selector plate were tripping the micro switch and telling the FCU to fire in full auto. Now hopefully you followed that entire logic. In summary, the selector plate is too long and needs to be filed down. To figure out how much of the selector plate to file off, what I did was I marked a groove on the gearbox for each of the positions of safe, semi, and full auto. To mark the grooves, you install your gearbox on the lower receiver with no upper receiver on, and then you can actually look down and see where the selector plate is while you're removing the selector switch. What I did was I marked a line corresponding to the front end of the selector plate while I was in each position of safe, semi, and full auto. I marked out the rough amount of selector plate to remove with a white paint pen, and I did a trial and error by filing it down and retesting it intermittently. I just used metal files to file down my selector plate. Then with the gearbox out of the lower receiver, you can run through the various positions corresponding to safe, semi, and full auto. You can see roughly how much of the selector plate you need to file down. Once you think you have it set right, you can check with just the FCU and battery to first confirm if the positions are engaging. The FCU will let you know when it's detected at fire, and it will also tell you if it's a semi-fire or if it's a full auto. You want to do your final testing with the gearbox dropped in the lower receiver so that you can use the actual selector switch to validate the position and setting. This process is the manual version of placing selector plate stickers for optical MOSFET ports, if you're more familiar with that process on AEGs. 